I want to live a life of a free imagination. I want to work with people in around this continent to make new exciting things, to make sci-fi things, and to make stories, and to make pictures. I want this generation of young parents to have their kids see Africans writing their own stories, painting their own stories. That simple act, I think that's the most political act that one can have. Me a hand of photocopy, guys. You know me, I just tell you life. I'm prepared even to say I have rewinded and I've confessed and I'm no longer homosexual. So long as you give me a contract and says, I'm not photocopying. I'm not photocopying. I'm not photocopying. As guys, what you have is the same school that said, bring the obedient children of you Africans to this school so that you can become clerks. Dear Baba, we've been needing to talk. We haven't really had a chance to talk since you died three years ago. And I thought today would be a good day. Of course, you may be aware that, Mom, we had a conversation in January uh, with Mom about me and about stuff in general. In April 2001, Baba, I'd just come back from Cuba for spring break. I'd gone, of course, to misbehave, and I had a lot of fun. And in fact, it was difficult getting out because I didn't know in Cuba you couldn't use an American credit card. <laughs> and I had to rush back on that Sunday to get back to teach on Monday. And on Monday, my head felt weird. I thought, ah, too much ram. Uh, my body wasn't moving properly. Things were awkward. Monday, Tuesday, taught class, Wednesday, Thursday. On Friday, it felt like there was water moving all over my head, and I took myself to the hospital. They took an MRI, and they told me I'd had nine small strokes. This was April. You can't imagine outside those parameters. You're scared of imagining. We don't have sci-fi. I can't find sci-fi. Like, people write stories, and all those stories, they're from the syllabus. The syllabus of, I don't know what you call, moral boring, moral flat, moral crap, moral...